What is going on everybody? It's Alex coming back at you with another video. Today we are doing the week eight predictions for this week. I don't understand why I had to say that twice. Well, you guys are probably wondering where my reactions videos are to the week. That will be coming. It's just been kind of a cluster lately. Obviously bouncing around places right now um, and all that stuff. So records on the side, not up to date. I want to make sure those are all up to date when we do the uh, reactions because obviously I don't want to be some type of phony saying I actually did things I didn't because I've been messing up with some of the records, but this is going to be a fun week. So let's start off with Tennessee at Cincinnati, and this is going to be an interesting game, right? So Derrick Henry is, is going to just like run all over these peeps. Uh, Cincinnati just sent away Carlos Dunlap for BJ Finney, which a lot of people are showing a little bit of hate to Cincy. I honestly don't at all. As a Steelers fan, I knew how good BJ Finney was. He's actually a pretty solid guy. You know, I don't really have any disrespect for him whatsoever. And I mean, I saw the goat house say that it was like a C minus for the uh, or C plus for the Cincinnati Bengals. I was like, you guys are kind of stupid. I think the Seahawks lost in that trade. You know, they kind of need as much protection as possible for us. But uh, adding extra protection is awesome. But it's again, it's BJ Finney. It's not going to be uh, top end talent. They are signing Quentin Spain as well. But uh, it's nothing compared to Tennessee. Let's just, let's be real here, guys. If Joe Burrow pulls this off, I mean, Tannehill's been playing MVP-esque, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, good job for Tannehill being able to actually prove me wrong because I didn't think he could repeat how good he was. And Derrick Henry is just going to be Derrick Henry. They almost beat the number one team in the NFL, my Steelers. I love that. I take pride in that. But, yeah, I mean, we don't need to talk much more about this. Now, New England-Buffalo. Uh, pretty sure Edelman's out this week. I just saw a tweet from Ian Rappaport, and Buffalo, I mean, they're having their struggles, but I think they need to have a bounce back week. Cam Newton, um, I'll be talking about this when I talk about my reactions, but Cam Newton's looking pretty horrible. I was pretty happy with him at the start of the season, but if you guys recall, I said, hey, his throwing motion looks really fucking weird. And that's, I think, because he's using all of his body strength to push it into the ball. And I'm pretty sure COVID's probably giving him quite a bit of uh, exhaustion. So I don't think people are taking enough enough uh credit into that it's like he had covid you know like he, he might be a little bit fatigued so uh, that's another factor and i'm pretty sure tooney got injured or something like that i know new england's patriots fan has been pretty much keeping me up to date on instagram because of that so thank you to that but uh, lots of guys who are injured on the patriots right now and it's just com completely stacked towards buffalo next vegas browns this is going to be a great game beckham's gone but i think that makes baker better I, I legit think so, and um, Vegas is just a powerhouse right now, man. I love Vegas. I hated the Raiders when they are in Oakland, but I got to give respect to this team. There's not really a hole anywhere. Like, yeah, they have some faults here and there, but they're a very solid, very balanced team, and they're able to put up numbers with the best of them, and they're going to be going to Cleveland, so again, it's going to be the Cleveland weather, but um, this is a game where I'm really not sure who's going to win. Is Baker going to show up and look godly again? Or is it going to be Baker that we're, we've are we been seeing for a little bit? And I'm going to be choosing Derek Carr on this one. Ba uh, the Vegas defense, I think, is a little bit more better than uh, Cleveland's defense. And I think Derek Carr is a little less reckless. And he has some insane weapons, as does Baker. But I trust Henry Ruggs and um, Nelson Aguilar. I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, more than Jarvis Landry and then like Donovan Peoples-Jones and then um, Rashad Higgins and stuff. Kansas City, I mean Kansas City, yeah, Kansas City and New York, um, I'm not even going to talk about this game. I think everybody understands that one. Uh, Pittsburgh-Baltimore, this is going to be a great game. It doesn't matter how crap Baltimore or Pittsburgh is going to be, it's going to be a great game regardless, you know. Um, the question is, what is the defense going to do? Is Spillane going to be able to be good enough to cover for the loss of Devin Bush. And that's a huge question that we have to think about. You know, I think that Baltimore, they're, they're doing pretty damn well, I must admit. But at the same time, Lamar Jackson's passing for 150 yards a game. And Pittsburgh's secondary, to me, is more of their weakness. Their run game is just insane. I mean, their, their run defense is insane. So that legit might push Pittsburgh over the top here. You know, they've been doing an excellent job. They, they held Derrick Henry to 75 yards. And yeah, he got a touchdown. But I mean, if you saw it, they held them to fourth down and then had some stupid P.I. call. So uh, Pittsburgh's weakness is in the pass game, not the run. And Baltimore's strength is in the run game. Uh, while Baltimore has an insane defense, I, I will not will not doubt that whatsoever. 
But Pittsburgh, they just have a plethora of weapons. I'm going to be rocking with Pitt. And again, this is one where it's like a 60-40 or maybe like 55-45. I'm really not sure who's going to win here. But I think that Stephon Tewitt, TJ Watt, Bud Dupree, uh, Cam, uh, Cam Hayward, these guys are going to be able to stop the run and then pressure the fuck out of Lamar. I don't think I'd choose anybody more in the NF- anybody else in the NFL except TJ Watt to be able to contain a quarterback. I love TJ Watt. Excellent pick. We're going to be rocking with the Steelers. Chargers, Denver. I'm going to be rocking with the Chargers here. Herbert's just been leading um, a pretty garbage team, to be honest. And he's looking excellent. Absolutely excellent. And um, Denver, really. I mean, if it weren't for three interceptions and then just looking like a complete headless chicken, I mean, Denver shouldn't have beaten New England. I mean, that was just absolutely horrible game. Uh, Rams, Dolphins. This is going to be an interesting one because Tua's first game. Um, yeah, I think that Tua is not going to like passing against Jalen Ramsey and getting sacked by Aaron Donald. So I, it's just going to be pretty straight up right there. Indy, Detroit. This is actually going to be a good game. I don't think people realize it. It's going to be a very good game. But I don't really have as much faith in Detroit as I do in Indianapolis. Detroit pulls off some insane comebacks because Matt Stafford's great. But as I said, Matt Stafford will put guys into games but won't get them over the hump because the team isn't that good and the head co- the coaching is not that good. I feel bad for Matt Stafford because I think he's an excellent quarterback, but I think he needs to go elsewhere if he actually wants success. Atlanta, Carolina. This is going to be a great game. Honestly, this is going to be a great game. Uh, Carolina has one of the best defenses. They held Matt Ryan pretty much to like six fantasy points or something like that. I'm going to be rocking with Carolina here. They're they're doing pretty damn well. You know, they're, they're a very safe team. I'm pretty sure Christian McCaffrey's off... He's off the injury list, but he's not off IR, so we'll have to see how he's going to be uh, for this game. But even with Mike Davis, I'm going to be rocking with Carolina. Very balanced pass and run attack, and they're just they're looking really good. A young defense, middle of the pack, but much better than we thought. Minnesota, Green Bay, we're not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it at all. New Orleans, Chicago, this is going to be a fun game. I really think it will be. But we're in Soldier Field. And Drew Brees has not looked too good. Alvin Kamara is the only X factor in this game that would push me towards going to New Orleans. I'm going to be rocking with Chicago, though. Uh, I, I have a little bit of faith in Chicago. And the only reason, because you're at Soldier Field. You know, Nick Foles dealt with Philadelphia wind. I think that uh, going into the fall slash winter season very soon, I think Chicago has the upper hand versus the weak arm Drew Brees. So, I mean, the, the strength of Chicago is... They're up front corners, and then I believe it's their defensive line. You know, they're, it's the guys who are going to be able to plug up those holes. The linebackers are great as well. Again, this is a very solid team. It's just who's going to be able to dink and dunk more, and I think Nick Foles will do a better job. And that's kind of weird to say that. San Francisco, Seattle. This is going to be a fun game. I'm going to be rocking with Seattle, though. Just lost by the skin of their teeth to the Arizona Cardinals. People saying that Kyler should be MVP. I mean, I said it at the beginning of the season, but... Uh, I I don't I don't I will not defend that claim. Russell Wilson had a, still a great game, three interceptions, big deal. I mean, okay, Kyler's had plenty of those games. You know, Russell Wilson is still the MVP in my eyes. Excellent quarterback on an excellent team. Tyler Lockett put up a fifty point fantasy night. That's insane. Next, Dallas, Philadelphia, the most embarrassing game of the week. We're rocking Philadelphia. I mean, Ben DiNucci. I'm sorry. I don't. Andy Dalton hasn't been not cleared um for the game but it's pretty obvious he hasn't been showing up to practice and stuff it's not going to rock towards uh dallas's way and then tampa bay new york giants i don't think we need to talk about this one either guys there's a couple gimmies in this week but there's some very good games so let me know what you guys think you know i'm sorry for not being able to get out all the content for like the reactions and stuff for the week um but let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching this channel is growing an exponential rate i love it so much um yeah if you guys have any other video requests let me know i'm gonna be doing a a 49ers uh seven round soon because i mean i've been kind of like i look back on the video and some of the guys uh some of our new watchers decided to go and watch it and say like hey i didn't really vibe with this i didn't vibe with it either so i owe you guys one an updated one so we're gonna get on to that so let me know what other teams we got the vikings coming as well um dallas cowboys video is growing at exponential rate i love it to death it's fun. YouTube's awesome now, as well as the light finally comes out in Dallas. So let me know what you guys uh, want to hear, and I'll see you on the far side. Peace.